<laughs> okay, we are starting in a seated position. And like I said, we're um, sitting just for a little bit longer to warm up the shoulders. So if you feel like a little cushion under your butt would be beneficial, grab a pillow or a folded up blanket. <clears throat> All right, so come to your seated position. Sukhasana if that feels good, but any seat that just allows you to sit up tall and provides a little space so you can move your shoulders. Cool, and then once you've found your way there, if it feels okay to do so, close your eyes down or just soften your gaze and give your mind and your body a moment to come to your mat. Maybe start to allow your focus to come inward. And then right away as you start to kind of settle in and you might start to feel just your awareness of your physical body become a little bit more active. Notice the front of the chest, the shoulders, and then maybe even see if you can draw a line around to the back space of that upper part of your body, noticing the back of your shoulders and your shoulder blades. And then if you can keep an awareness of that space, just notice the gentle bit of movement that happens as you breathe in and breathe out. And then see if you can just take your awareness down to your legs, your feet and your buttocks on the ground and just notice if anything feels like it needs a little shift around or a little wiggle in your seat so that you feel really nice and comfortable. Take a second to readjust. And then once you've readjusted, lift just a little bit taller up through the crown of your head. And then we're gonna focus on the head position. So we're gonna jump the chin forward slightly and then pull the chin back like you're making a tiny double chin. Jut your chin forward just slightly, just so you feel that little engagement in the muscles in the side of the neck or maybe the back of the neck and then pull the chin back, but tuck it slightly. Jut your chin forward just a little bit, pull the chin back just slightly and then hold that more pulled back position. So chin tucked slightly like you're making that double chin. So what we wanna find is ears in line with the shoulder so that our neck is in a nice alignment. And then once you feel like you've found that alignment, a light tick tock of the head side to side. So don't go extreme and don't even, if you can, don't go to your full range of motion, but just allow a little time here to just find some warmth and gumminess in the muscles in the side of the neck, but try to keep that head pulled back position. So your chin is pulled back slightly. So the ears and the shoulders are in line. Awesome, take one more tick tock of the head side to side and then bring your head back to center and stack both hands on top of your heart. And then just a little gentle pressure on so we trap that skin and connective tissue. As you inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. Exhale and tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale to lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. Do that one more time. Inhale to lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. Stay here for just a moment and set an intention here to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. Great, and then with that intention set, lift your head back to that neutral position, pull the chin back slightly, slide your hands out so fingertips are gonna find the shoulders and we're gonna start to draw some gentle circles with the elbows. Going in one direction, start nice and small, but tune in here, notice how your shoulders feel. <clears throat> notice how just this little bit of movement, notice where your energy level is at this morning and then see how it feels to maybe increase the range of motion, taking it a little bit further.
Awesome, one more circle around in this direction and then we're gonna start to go the other way, but start small. Just notice how changing the direction of those circles might feel a little bit different in your shoulder or it might feel exactly the same. So no right or wrong, but just notice. And then once you feel like you've got a little bit of warmth going on, maybe increase the range of motion. Nice, one more circle around. And then as you come back around, plant your left hand down, take your right hand, we'll reach it up, take a light, light side bend. And then right away, we're gonna take it over to the other side. Right hand's gonna touch down, left hand is gonna reach up. Lift up and we're gonna go right into a gentle seated twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, just a light rotation, take one good inhale. Exhale, return to center, and then take your twist all the way over to the other side. Take one good inhale. Come right back to center, both hands on the knees, move right into seated cat cow. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale and round your back. Inhale to lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale to round your back. Take about three more cycles of breath here and just move with your breath's rhythm. You can even close your eyes down if it feels good to just pay attention to sensation. Notice how your shoulders feel. Notice how the back of your body feels. And then once you've completed those cycles of breath, come to an upright neutral spine and take it into a light, easy seated forward fold. So we're just gonna walk the hands out just to a point where you feel a little bit of sensation. So maybe that means the outer edges of your hip or in your glutes, or maybe you feel a little sensation in the low back. If you're feeling anything in your knees, maybe walk it back a little bit, but if everything else is feeling good, take one more breath here. And then walk yourself back up nice and slow. <clears throat> and we're gonna take it back to the side bend. So left hand's gonna touch down, right hand's gonna reach up, taking it just a little bit deeper here and then reach through your fingertips as you reach down into your sits bones. Take a nice big breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale to lift up, right hand's gonna touch down, left hand reaches up alongside your ear. Sink a little bit deeper into that side bend, but anchor that sits bone down into the ground. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out, inhale to lift up and we're gonna go right back to a seated twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, rotate just a little bit further. So you're going just a little bit leveraged into that twist. Notice how your back feels. And then soften your position. So heart is gonna to point towards the knee and take three nods of the head up and down. Inhale as you lift your chin up. Exhale to tuck your chin down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more cycle of breath. And then as your head comes back to neutral position, we're gonna unwind and take our twist over to the other side. So left hand's gonna find the right knee, leverage into the twist just a little bit, go deeper than you were before, notice how your back feels. And then soften that position so that your heart is pointing towards your knee and then come back to that nodding of the head up and down. Inhale as you lift your chin up. Exhale as you tuck your chin down. Beautiful, two more cycles of breath, just like that. Nice, and then as your head comes back to that neutral position, unwind, come back to center, readjust your seat if you need to, but now we're just gonna focus on left shoulder. So four times we're gonna inhale, lift the shoulder up to the ear, and then let the shoulder soften back down to that neutral position. Inhale, let the shoulder lift up. Exhale, let the shoulder lower down. Two more just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale, soften down. Last one here. Awesome. And now we're going to take the shoulder down. So everything else is going to stay as stable as it can. And the shoulder is going to just reach down and then come back to neutral. Reach your shoulder down. Come back to neutral. Reach the shoulder down. Come back to neutral. One more time like that. Reach the shoulder down come back to neutral. And now we're gonna take the shoulder forward. So we're gonna hug the shoulder forward. Everything stays as stable as it can. Bring the shoulder back to neutral. Shoulder hugs forward and back to neutral. Come forward, back to neutral. One more time like that. Shoulder comes forward, back to neutral. Now take it backwards to that chicken wing. So hug the shoulder back and then bring it back to neutral. Hug the shoulder back, bring it back to neutral. Two more times here, back to neutral, back to neutral. And now we're gonna put all that together. So inhale up, forward, down and back, up, 
forward, down, and back, up, forward, down, and back. One more time through, up, forward, down, and back. Bring that shoulder to neutral, take a second, just to give everything a little wiggle jiggle, make sure everything feels good if you need to readjust your seat, do it. And then we're gonna take it over to the other side. So taking it into that upward position, shoulder lifts up and then back down to neutral. Everything else stays as stationary as it can. Inhale to lift up, exhale back to neutral. Inhale up, exhale to neutral. One more time, inhale up, exhale to neutral. And now we're taking it down. So we draw the shoulder down and then back to neutral, draw the shoulder down, back to neutral, draw the shoulder down, back to neutral. One more time here, draw the shoulder down, back to neutral. And now we're hugging the shoulder forward. So we just bring the shoulder forward. You might feel that little squeeze in the armpit chest and then bring it back, hug the shoulder forward and back. One more time, hug it forward and back to neutral. And now take the shoulder back. So we make that little chicken wing and then bring it back in. Bring the shoulder back and in. Beautiful, two more times here, bring it back and in. Last one. And now we put it all together. So the shoulder lifts up, comes forward, draws down and back. Up, forward, down and back. Up, forward, down and back. One more time through, up, forward, down, and back, bring it to neutral, give everything a little wiggle, make sure everything feels good. And now we're gonna come back to our seated twist. So right hand's gonna find the left knee, rotate, find that nice tall position of your spine and then release the back hand to shoulder height. We're gonna flip the palm so it's facing up towards the ceiling, add a little side bend, take a nice deep breath in. On your next inhale, lift up, unwind and take it all the way over to the other side. So left hand's gonna find the right knee, Find your deep rotation. And then once you're there, pick up that right hand, flip the palm so it's facing up towards the ceiling, add your side bend. Beautiful, lift it up, come back to center. And then we're gonna take that a little bit further. So we're gonna twist <clears throat> right hand to the left knee, rotate, pick the hand up, palm faces up towards the ceiling, find your side bend. And then we're gonna take that hand and reach over and across. Can you find your other knee? And then once you've got that crisscross of your arms, bring your heart to center, keeping the elbow stacked. So you might choose a hug or you might choose eagle arms just depending on how your arms and shoulders feel. But if you can take your arms, wrap them into your eagle arms or give yourself a hug and then come to that nice upright spine. Just for a moment, pull the chin back. See if you can find that head position where your ears are in line with your shoulders. And then keeping your arms wrapped, Inhale, lift your fingertips up, lift your gaze. Exhale, pull the elbows down around your upper back body. Inhale, lift your fingertips up, lift your gaze. Exhale to round and tuck your chin in. One more time, just like that. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to round. Inhale to a neutral position. Unwind your arms, and now we're gonna take our twist over to the other side. So left hand is gonna find the right knee, find your rotation first, and then reach that right hand out to shoulder height, flip the palm, add your side bend, and then see if you can reach all the way over and across and find that opposite knee. Once you've got your knee, bring your heart to center, keep your elbows stacked. You might choose for the hug or wrap your hands into those eagle arms, and then find that tall upright spine. Once you've got your hands in a good position, draw your chin back so we find that alignment of the head position. And then once everything feels good there, inhale, lift the fingertips, fingertips up, lift your gaze. Exhale and round your back, tuck your chin in. Inhale to lift the fingertips up. Exhale to round the upper back body. Beautiful, one more time here, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to a neutral position, unwind your arms, swim the hands all the way behind the back with nice tall fingers, lift your chest, lift your chin, take three nice big breaths here.
Beautiful. Soften that position. Soften your elbows. Lean back into your sits bones. Swing your legs out and just take a couple of little windshield wipers with the knees just to kind of bring them, invite some movement back into your hips. And then we're going to step, step the feet out so that there's like a fairly wide position, but not the edge that you can normally go to. So start by just finding a softer, gentler wide position and then kind of wiggle into your sits bones. Make sure everything feels good. And then we're going to just walk it forward to that lighter position. So just a gentle fold here. Soften your elbows down, soften through the back of the body. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Lift yourself back up slightly, but then we're going to rotate the torso. So keeping the legs just as they are, rotate your torso towards your left knee. Hands frame that front knee and then think long spine. So we're going to keep that nice long lifted space through the front of the body. Lean your heart forward just a little bit. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Come up nice and slow. Keep the legs as they are, but just the torso rotates. So we're going to rotate so the heart is facing towards that knee. Hands frame that front knee. Keep that nice lifted position with the torso. Lean your heart forward just a little bit. Beautiful. Come up nice and slow and controlled, and then grab the backs of the knees, help the knees come together, swing it around and find your way into a tabletop position or come onto all fours. <clears throat> and then once you're in that all fours position, move right into your cat cow here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round. One more time, just like that. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round, and then we're going to add on. Inhale, drop your belly, curl your toes under, lift your chest. Keep the toes curled under, round your back, pull your butt back to your heels. Inhale, come forward, keep the toes tucked, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tail. Keep the toes tucked, round your back, pull your butt back to your heels. Beautiful. Inhale, come forward, keep the toes tucked, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tail. Keep the toes tucked, exhale, round back, bring the butt back to the heels. One more time through, but this time we're gonna stay in that rounded back position. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round back and then stay there for an extra cycle of breath. Just notice how your toes feel, notice how the bottoms of your feet feel. Take one more breath. And then on your inhale, come up, release your toes, move right into puppy pose. So hips are gonna stay in line with the knees. Hands are gonna walk to the front edge of the mat, make as much space for your arms and your shoulders as feels right to you. And then let your chest and your forehead melt down. Take three nice big breaths. Beautiful. On your next inhale, walk your hands back up and in. We're going to step the right foot forward into a lunging position, and then we're going to rearrange our hands. So step your right foot forward first, and then curl your back toes under. We're going to pick that back knee up and see if we can walk it back just a little bit so we create a little space for the hips. And then if those toes are still tucked, release them, and we're going to take three half splits here, but be super gentle. So rock back, peel the front toes up, and then rock yourself forward. Make sure that back knee feels comfortable. Rock back, peel the front toes up. Rock forward, and this time maybe lift your heart, lift your gaze. Rock back, peel the toes up. Rock forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And then soften that position, step that right foot back, reposition in your tabletop, rock out your hips, and then we're going to take all of that to the other side. So left foot's going to step forward, finding that lunge, readjust your hands, and then see if you can walk that back knee back just a little bit to create some space. Once you feel like it's all good, relax those back toes, and then take it back to your half splits. Rock back, peel the front toes up, rock forward. Rock back, maybe go a little bit further, or straighten that leg just a little bit more, and then rock forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Rock back. Rock forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Soften that position, step that left foot back. And now we're gonna take it into extended child's pose. So big toes together, walk your knees to the outer edges of your mat, pull your butt back to your heels and then find a soft position. So let your belly, your chest, your forehead melt down and then let your arms also find a soft position.
Take one more breath here. And then on your next inhale, start to lift yourself up. So hips lift away from the heels, walk your knees in just a little bit so we have a stable position. And then we're gonna come down into a sphinx pose. So elbows and forearms down, elbows in line with the shoulders, spread your fingers, hands are parallel. And now step, step your feet to the back of your mat, pause in a low plank position. So lower your butt down, find that nice broadness in the shoulders, firm up your abdomen, feel like your front body is pulling up away from the floor. Take one more moment. And then when you're ready, relax your knees down, release your toes and flow right into your sphinx pose. Think about pulling the shoulders back or pulling the elbows back to the ribs. So we feel that little bit of engagement between the shoulder blades, lifting through the heart, lifting up through the crown of your head. Take one more breath. Awesome. And then soften that position just a little bit. Maybe wriggle out your shoulders. We're going to curl the toes under and then see if we can find a little bit of a from that low plank position up into our dolphin pose. So we're going to keep our arms in the sphinx position. Can you lift your belly and torso away from the floor and then start to lift your butt up, walking your feet in so you find that dolphin pose. So you walk it in so that the back half of the body feels like it's in downward facing dog and the upper part of the body feels like it's in a sphinx position. Lots of work for the shoulders here. So make sure it feels comfortable. Take one more breath. And now from this position, can you push into your palms, lift your elbows up and find your way up into your downward facing dog? Awesome, when you're ready, soften your knees, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a nice soft rag doll at the top of your mat. Once you're at the top of the mat, bend your knees just a little bit more and then see if you can catch hold of the elbows. Let the crown of your head soften down, take three nice big breaths here. Beautiful. Now we're going to come up and use our strap. So if you have it handy and you want to just take it with you as you come on up, grab a hold of your strap or your TheraBand, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to your standing position, and then right away, taking your strap behind the back. So we're going to create a space where we have plenty of room for the arms to move. So start by finding that comfortable position. And then once you feel like you know that good distance and you've got plenty of space to move, we're gonna take it into a fold. So bend your knees, hinge from your waist. Arms are gonna just fall away from the back of the body as we fold over. And then if you like, straighten your legs just as much as feels good or keep a micro bend, just make sure the backs of your legs feel comfortable. Take one more breath. Bend your knees a lot, lift from the top of your head. As you come up, your hands are gonna to float towards the low back. And now we're gonna reposition our arms. So you're gonna take your TheraBand or your strap behind you, let the strap drop down the back. And then the other hand is gonna be palm facing backwards, re-grab the tail end, and then just start to walk your hands. We do wanna keep a little bit of distance. We're gonna do that little bit of a floss. So get a comfortable distance. And then once you've got it, both arms are gonna lift up slightly. Both arms are gonna pull down slightly. Both arms are gonna pull up. Both arms pull down, both arms pull up, both arms pull down and then come to that center neutral position. See if you can crawl that bottom hand up just a little bit closer. And then once you've got a good grip but you feel good and happy in your shoulders, back to that fold. Bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold over. Once you've got a good fold that feels good to you, maybe you straighten your legs a little bit but let your top elbow get as heavy as it can. Take two more breaths here. Beautiful, bend your knees, lift from the top of your head, let your heart follow, come up nice and slow and controlled, and then slowly and mindfully release. Take a second, shrug out your shoulders, but then we're gonna do all of that to the other side. So you're gonna drop that band down your back, palm facing backwards. The other hand is gonna grab the tail end and then start to walk your hands a little bit closer, but keep a little bit of space. Once you've got that good, comfortable space, both arms are gonna lift up, both arms are gonna pull down, both arms lift up, both arms pull down, both arms lift up, both arms pull down and then see if you can find that center position, crawling that bottom hand up just a little bit further so we get a closer grab, make sure it feels comfortable. And then once you're there, bend your knees, heart folds forward, top elbow drops down and then you straighten your legs just as much as feels good to you.
bend your knees, lift from the top of your head, come up nice and slow and controlled. And then as you come on up, release your arms, shrug out your shoulders. And then just if you like that ease of transition, you'll place that strap over to the right side of your mat. You might not need it, but you might. So just have it there handy in case you wanna use it. <clears throat> Once you've got your props set up, find your mountain pose at the top of your mat. Toes and knees pointing fairly forward, reaching up through the crown of your head, a little energy down into your fingertips, and then just pause here for a moment. If it feels good to do so, close your eyes down. Just notice your physical body. Notice your feet connected to the floor. Notice the space around your legs. Notice the front of your body. Become aware of the back of your body. Notice the space around your head and your shoulders. Awesome, and then when you're ready, open your eyes. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, stepping the right leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, release the toes or tuck them totally up to you. Hand to the front knee, lift your chest, pull the left hip crease back. Inhale, raise your arms up, look up. And then when you're ready, release your hands down, one half splits here. We're gonna pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, but now we're gonna stay back there. Walk your hands in just a little bit closer to your knee. Lift your chest, lift through the front of the body, create a little bit of space there. And then once you feel like you've found that space, soften your nose toward your knee, take one breath here. Beautiful, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick the back knee up. Plant your palms, step back to plank. Right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control. One low cobra here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Push your way up to a tabletop position. Curl the toes under. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of the mat, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders around, down and back, pause in your mountain pose, find that grounding through your feet. And then when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Toes tucked or release, totally up to you. Whatever feels more stable. Bring your hand to your knee, lift your chest, pull the hip crease back, reach your arms up, lift your gaze. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, float the hands down, frame the front foot, and we're taking it back to the half split. So pull your hips back, peel the front toes up, and then walk your hands in just a little bit. So we create that little bit of space, lift through the front of the body. And once you've created that space, soften your nose toward your knee, take a nice cycle of breath here. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, soften it up, rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, lift your back knee, plant your palms, step back to a plank, but then right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control onto your belly. One low cobra here, inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down, push your way up to a tabletop position, curl the toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around, down and back. Pause in your mountain pose again. Feel your feet connected to the floor. Notice the space around you. Take one nice big breath here. Beautiful, ground into your feet. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, just whatever feels good to you here. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're gonna step the right leg back into a lunge, but then we're gonna open up into a warrior two. So if you like, pivot the back heel, spin it up, but then right away, swing that left toe forward as well. So both legs are gonna turn out to the side of the mat. Once you've got your way here, 
just adjust your feet so it feels like a good solid position underneath you. A little hip hinge. So we're gonna lean the heart forward. And as you lean the heart forward, bring your arms with you so they kind of hug alongside the ears. Awesome. So we just come to that halfway folded point and then pull it back up and open up into a five pointed star. And then we're gonna do that again. Halfway fold, arms are gonna reach up alongside the ears. Beautiful, anchor into your feet, lift up into that five pointed star. We're gonna do that just one more time. Folding forward, arms are gonna reach alongside the ears. Nice, and then float your hands all the way down to the ground and take a couple of little bends in the knees. So think side lunges, but you might choose to rearrange your toes. Just make sure your knees feel comfortable about the position that you're working in. Lovely, one more little sway side to side. And then as you come back to center, soft bend in the knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll on up to standing, roll the shoulders around down and back. We're gonna turn the left toes out, take it into a little triangle pose. So we're gonna pop that back hip out, reach to the point that feels good to you. Reach your top hand up, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Now that top hand is gonna circle down and we're gonna rotate the torso. So we're gonna frame that front foot, Beautiful, and then from there, bend your front knee, and then we're gonna open up a little bit. So we're gonna walk the hands around and then take it all the way over to the other side. So bend your other knee, let your feet and your knees move with you. Lovely, take it back over to the other side. Now we're gonna pivot all the way around into a lunge. So bend that front knee, heart comes towards the top edge of your mat. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to plank. Lower your knees, rotate the eyes of your elbows, lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to cover. This time, come up as high as you like. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Left leg is gonna step back. We come through that lunge and through that warrior two flow. So lift yourself up through that warrior two position, straightening the front knee and pivoting both toes out. So now we're both toes out to the left side of the mat. Once you've got your way here, we're gonna take it into that half forward fold mark. So we're gonna lean forward into that half fold. Arms are gonna reach up alongside the ears. Beautiful. Anchor into your feet, lift back up to your five-pointed star. Hinge forward to that halfway fold, arms alongside the ears. Beautiful, come back up, five-pointed star. One more time like that. Lean forward, hands alongside the ears, and then float your hands down to the ground. Come back to those little side lunges, bending the knee, readjusting your feet. So let everything kind of move with you. Awesome, and then as you come back to center, anchor into your feet, long through the torso, lift up into your five-pointed star, turn your right toes out, take it into your triangle pose from here. Leaning forward, hand to the thigh, the shin, or the big toe, whatever works good for you. Finding that triangle pose, look up to the sky, and then that top hand is gonna reach down towards the ground. So we're gonna rotate the torso, frame that front knee, beautiful. Bend that front knee just a little bit, pivot that back heel so you come into your lunge. Awesome, plant your palms, step back to plank. Right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug elbows to ribs as you lower with control. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale up to downward facing dog or through your table to downward facing dog. Beautiful, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, runner's lunge, finding that lunge first. And now we're gonna straighten that front knee just slightly. And now we're gonna pivot around to the right side of the mat, keeping that softer position. So pivot your feet, walk around to the right side of your mat, maybe take a couple of little, those mini lunges, dipping one knee and then the other. But now if you've got your strap in front of you, 
We're gonna take that with us as we come up. So come back to that central loca location, soften your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll all the way up. We're gonna take that strap right behind the back, finding that comfortable position and then right into a fold. So soften your knees, hinge from your waist, fold over, let your arms fall away from the back of your body. One more breath. Soften your knees, lift from the top of your head, come up nice and slow. And now we're gonna take it into a little bit of a bind. So with this wide leg position, we're gonna find a little bit of space and then we'll come back to that straight leg. So bend your left knee. And now we're gonna take the strap that's in the right hand and just kind of reach it over and across so it's kind of falling behind the thigh. Now we're gonna take the left hand, reaching through and see if you can grab the tail end of that strap. Once you've got the tail end of your strap, can you straighten that leg and then find a little bit of a closer hug in the shoulder? See if you can draw that top shoulder up and back and then maybe look up to the sky. Soften that top shoulder position, soften your knee, release your bottom hand, come up slow and controlled. Take a second, shrug out your shoulders, but then we're gonna take it to the other side. So start by bending the knee, re-grab your strap so it's in the other hand. We're gonna drop that behind the thigh. The other hand is gonna come in front of the thigh. So we're gonna reach through. Can you grab hold of the strap? Once you've caught it, can you straighten that leg? And then once you've got that straightish leg position, can you take your top shoulder, rolling it open towards the sky and looking up? Beautiful, soften your shoulders, soften your knee, come up with control, releasing your strap, and then maybe just set it off to the left side of the mat. So we'll have it available when we come to the other side. When you're, when you're ready, turn your left toes to the top of the mat, bend that front knee. We're gonna swing the hands all the way around. So spin it down into your runner's lunge, heart forward, look forward, take a breath. And then when you're ready, plant your palms, step back to planks, right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, lower with control. Inhale up to Cobra, just as high as you like. Exhale through table to down dog or up to down dog, whichever you like best. When you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold to the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. We're going to take it right into a tree pose, but we're going to stay just a little bit longer than we normally do. So if you need a little assist, a wall or a chair, take your time to get there. And then once you feel like you're in a good position where you can stabilize yourself, shift your weight onto your left foot. Start by just externally rotating your right knee. Keep the big toe on the ground. Reach a little bit taller through the crown of your head. Notice how that feels. And then if it feels available, you're just going to lift the branch of that tree up. So maybe it finds the calf. Prayer hands to heart center. Once you feel like you're nice and stable, bring a little energy out into your elbows. Notice that nice bit of connection between your palms. Keep a light firmness in your belly. Keep a reaching upward sensation. So we ground our roots down into our foot and then we reach the top of our tree up towards the sky. Focus your gaze. If you start to lose your balance, see if it feels better to press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Two more cycles of breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, slowly and mindfully step that right foot down, relax your hands, Ooh, give everything a little bounce, a little shake. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take that all to the other side. So one side might need an assist and one side might not. So you just make sure you choose the variations that work good for your body. Shift your weight over to your right foot, start by externally rotating the knee, but with the big toe on the ground. Pause there and see how that feels. And then if you can, imagine you're growing down into your standing leg. If you feel nice and strong, slide that left foot up to the calf, prayer hands together with a little energy out through the elbows. Firm up your abdomen, reach up through the crown of your head. So we grow our roots down through the foot and then we reach our head up to the sky. Take one more breath. 
Awesome. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully release that foot down. Take a second to bounce everything out. Shake out any of that stuff that you may come across when you try to maintain a balance. And then come back to the top of your mat. Find your mountain pose. Anchor into your feet and reach up through the top of your head. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back into that runner's lunge. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Straighten that leg just a little bit and then we're pivoting around. So we're gonna walk around to the left side of the mat to find that wide leg position. Maybe take a couple of little mini lunges side to side just to create some space. Awesome, and then as you come back to center, grab hold of your strap, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll all the way up, take the strap behind you, find that good, comfortable bit of distance. So you have a good space for your shoulders to move and then hinge from your waist. So soften your knees, hinge your hips, lean yourself forward, let the arms fall away from the back of the body, let your head soften down. Beautiful, soften your knees, let your hands float towards the low back, come up to that halfway point and then release your strap and let it fall down behind the thigh. Now we're gonna bend the right knee, left knee, bend the left knee, reach your right hand through, grabbing hold of that strap. So we find that bind position. And then once you've found that bound position, straighten that leg, roll the top shoulder up. I said the wrong thing. So it should be right hand behind you, left hand through the thigh. I'm like, this is too easy. <laughs> so once you've got your hand hold, then straighten that left leg, then roll the shoulder up, look up towards the sky, take a nice big breath. Soften your knee, relax your grip, lift on up. And we're gonna take that to the other side. So switch your hand hold, bend that right knee, reach the right hand in front, grab hold of the strap, once you've got your hold, walk in your hands to a comfortable distance, straighten the leg, roll the top shoulder up, look up to the sky. Beautiful, soften that position, release your grab, lift all the way up, set your strap off and over to the side, turn the right toes out, bend that front knee, pivot that back heel, and we come right through to our runner's lunge. Plant your palms, step back to plank, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale through table to down dog or up to your down dog, just whatever transition feels better. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. And now we're gonna swim the hands. One's gonna come up, one's gonna come behind and we're gonna see if we can just find a little bit of reach. So see if you can get your fingertips to touch and no worries if you can't, but sometimes once you've done all that work, you can really find a little bit of extra space. So if you can get your fingers to clasp, cool. And if not, grab your strap, go ahead and reach to where your shoulders are happiest. And then take a moment here just to notice. Notice how much space you might have gained. Take one more breath, release with a bit of control. Notice how coming out feels. You may have come across a little tight spots in the shoulders. So shrug it all out. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna take it to the other side. So one hand up, one hand down, palm facing backwards. Reach your hands just as far as they like to go. See how that feels. If you can get the fingers to touch or hands to clasp, cool. If not, you use your strap. Finding that little bit of space, give it a little time. Lovely, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly unwind. Roll the shoulders out, wriggle out your fingers, wriggle out your wrists, let go of any of that stuff that you may have come across in that upper part of the body. Pause in your mountain pose just for a moment, anchor into your feet, reach up through the crown of your head. Beautiful, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. 
pick up your heels, lower your knees, come into tabletop position. We're gonna move right into gate pose. Right leg is gonna step out straight to your side, hands to your hips, find that high kneel position. Right hand to the thigh, left hand reaches up, take a gentle side bend. Beautiful, swim that hand around and down. Hands are gonna come into that tabletop position and then we're gonna pull the butt back to your heels. You're gonna go only as far as feels good to your knee, your shin or your ankle. And then when you're ready, come right back up, slide the right foot in, step the left leg out, reposition to the other side. Hands to the hips, come to that high kneel. Left hand out, right hand reaches up. Beautiful, swim those hands around and down, come into that tabletop position, but the left leg stays out. Pull your butt back towards your heels, but only go as far as feels safe and comfortable to your knee and your ankle. Beautiful, lift yourself right back up and in, slide that left leg in, and then take a second to just kind of bop your hips, just a little rock side to side. One more little rock side to side, and then the hips are gonna stay in a more stable position and take it into your C-spine. So hug your shoulder toward your hip. Beautiful, one more C-spine each side. And then as you come back to center, we're just gonna get a little bit of stabilizing in the, in the shoulder area. So take it into some scapular push-ups. So we're gonna drop the chest down, squeeze between the shoulder blades, push the floor away from you around the upper back body. Drop the chest down, squeeze between the shoulder blades, push the floor away and round your shoulders. Beautiful, do that one more time. Drop the chest, squeeze the shoulders, push the floor away and round. Lovely, find a neutral position and then either crisscross your legs behind you or swing your legs out to one side. But we're gonna spin it all the way around so the legs are out in front of us nice and long. And then we're gonna take just a little bit of lymphatic movement before we come down all the way down to the ground. So legs out in front of you, soft bend in the knees. Take a nice big breath, reach up and overhead. Exhale, reach toward your feet. Doesn't matter if you touch your feet, but now we're gonna put a little gentle pressure on. So push your hands into the sides of your legs, glide your hands up, pushing in as you come up, Slide up the side of the body, up the armpits, the back of the neck and reach up. Exhale, reach towards your feet. Push into your hands, slide up the sides of the thighs, up the side of the body, up the armpits, the back of the neck, reach up. Exhale, reach towards your feet. Push into your palms, slide your hands up, up the side of the body, up the armpits, the back of the neck and reach up. Beautiful, and then float your hands down so they're alongside the hips. Step, step your feet in into a reverse table. Push into your feet, push into your palms, Lift your hips up just as high as you feel safe and comfortable in your shoulders and you're breathing comfortably. Take one more breath. Awesome, and then settle your bum back down to the ground. Curl your tailbone under, release your hands and gently roll your way down to the ground. Nice, and then once you've found your way down to the ground, step, step your feet in so the heels are a little closer to the butt. We're gonna take it right into a bridge pose. So hands alongside the hips, palms facing down, Shoulder head snuggled in, push into your palms, push into your feet, lift your hips up as high as you can. Once you've got your way up into that higher position, think about reaching your knees toward your toes so we engage through the tops of the thighs, feeling a little bit of stretch through the front hip pocket area. Glutes are engaged, backs of the legs are engaged. Take one more breath. And then with control, lower yourself down nice and slow. Once your hips touch down, pull both knees up into your chest. Take those knees and rock them a little bit side to side. And then while you're rocking side to side, see if you can take it up, up into the shoulders as well. So rather than just the hips and the low body rocking side to side, See if you can rock into the shoulders as well. So just a nice gentle rock across the whole back of the body. <laughs> One more little rock side to side. And then as you come back to center, loosen up your grip, take your knees, draw them in circles, go in one direction. Take your knees, draw them in circles, go the other way. 
Beautiful. Hold on to your right knee. Let your left leg go nice and long. Let the heel come all the way down to the ground. And then just with that handhold, take three nice deep breaths. Great, and then we're gonna move into supine twist, but we're gonna explore which one feels better and then you'll take the third one at your favorite. So start with this knee a little bit closer to the chest. So that closer space, we're gonna take the right knee over and across the body to the left, keeping that higher position with the knee. Let your right arm open out nice and wide, take one good breath. On your next inhale, pull the knee back to center. And now we're gonna readjust just slightly. So now the knee is gonna come in line with the hip rather than it pulled up tight to the chest, the knee is gonna come in line with the hip. It might change how far you go and it might change sensation. Right arm is gonna come out. We're gonna take that right knee over and across the body, finding that spinal twist. And then just notice here, how does your low back feel? Are you feeling a different sensation with that lower position of the knee? On your next inhale, bring it back up and in and then ask your body, which one did you like best? Did you like the knee closer to the chest or did you like the knee in line with the hip? And then whichever you preferred, take it back to your twist and then stay there for three cycles of breath. When you feel ready, bring that right knee back into your chest. Left knee is gonna come back into meet, taking that rock side to side, bringing it into the low back and the shoulders. So the whole back of the body is rocking gently side to side. And then come back to center, hold on to your left knee, let your right leg go nice and long, and then just hold on that position, take three nice big breaths. Beautiful, and then keeping that knee closer to the chest, start with that supine twist there. So knee up towards the chest, bring the left knee over and across the body, left arm opens wide, head turns to the left, take one good breath. Notice how that feels in your body. Pull the left knee back up to the chest, but then release it so that the knee is in line with the hip. Once you've got that position, take it back to your twist, taking the knee over and across the body, left arm opens wide. Notice how this position feels with your body. And one side might be totally different than the other. You might prefer one thing on one side and a different thing on the other side. When you're ready, pull the knee back into your chest and then ask yourself, which version did you like best on this side, knee to the chest or knee in line with the hip? Take yourself there and then find your twist open up into a position that feels good, and then take three nice big breaths. Beautiful, when you're ready, pull the left knee back into your chest, bring the right knee into meet. One last little hug and squeeze, but just check in here. Maybe a little rock side to side, but notice how your body feels and ask yourself where would be your best Shavasana. If you're in a chilly space or if it's cold in the room that you're working in, take a second, put your socks on, put your sweater on, grab your blanket, and then position your body in a way that will work best for you. Maybe you come to constructive rest, maybe you come to recline cobbler's pose, maybe that more traditional Shavasana shape, but any variation with the body that feels good and allows you to find a little bit of stillness.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Invite some gentle movement into your fingers and your toes. Maybe rock your head gently side to side. And then as your breath starts to deepen, maybe invite some bigger movements in. Move your wrists, move your ankles, move your knees, move your hips. <clears throat> and then if it feels really good to do so, take it into that big good morning stretch, stretching your legs long, reaching your arms up and overhead, noticing how your shoulders feel in this moment. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then slowly start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position. So come up in any way that feels good to you. <clears throat> and then as you come up to that comfortable seated position into maybe Sukhasana, just we want to have a little bit of access again to the shoulders. We're just going to floss them out so that maybe make sure everything, this is not, nothing got caught up while we were doing our work. So start by taking your left hand, thumb to the inside, wrap your fingers around your thumb, and then we're going to rotate the thumb inward. So thumb is going to rotate in towards the side of the body and then push the knuckles back. So we're opening out just a little bit to the side. Once you've got that position, find your upright spine, draw your hand in a couple of circles, go in one direction. Draw it in a couple of circles, go the other way. Let that come to stillness just for a second. Drop your ear away from your shoulder, keeping a little bit of length, and then come back to those circles. Go in one direction, go the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, release, flip it all the way out and open. So palm facing up towards the ceiling and then we're gonna flick the fingers up, ear drops in, flick the fingers down, ear drops away. Flick the fingers up, ear drops in, flick the fingers down, ear drops away. And then just see that you can do that one more time. Flick the fingers up, ear drops in, flick the fingers down, ear drops away, and then release that hand, head comes to neutral position, take it to the other side. Thumb to the inside of the palm, wrap your fingers around, Thumb rolls inward and then out and back. So we get a little bit of an extension of that arm. Take the hand, draw it in circles, go in one direction. Draw it in circles, go the other way. Let that come to stillness, drop your ear away from the shoulder. And then once you've got that extension, draw the hand in circles, go in one direction. Draw the hand in circles, go the other way. Lovely. Hand comes to neutral, lift your head back up, unwind, open the palm out, and then flick the fingers up, ear drops in. Flick the fingers down, ear drops away. Flick the fingers up, ear drops in. Flick the fingers down, ear drops away. One more time, just like that. Flick the fingers up, ear drops in. Flick the fingers down, ear drops away, and then back to a neutral position with both hands stacked right on top of your heart. If you like, close your eyes down or just soften your gaze. Notice just that warmth of your hands on your heart space. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw. Take a nice, big, generous inhale, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. One last big inhale, and as you exhale, think about letting your shoulders soften, Jaw relaxes and let go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your day. And then when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Thursday. You guys are amazing.